all right family welcome back to i love me 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 so today's topic of discussion is does he see a future with you i have 10 things that you can look for Stay tuned. all right family welcome back to i love me 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 ladies let me just say i am so happy that my online course is just about complete. Let me just tell you the title because I am just so excited about this. The title is Create the Dream Romantic Relationship That You Want by Becoming the Best Woman You Can Be. All right, so this course is going to help you out tons and I'm very excited. It is almost ready to be released now. Let me just also say if this is your very first time here and you want to hear more content such as this, you make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Now, jumping into the 10 things that you can see if he sees a future with you. So number one is that he actually makes future plans with you. I'm not talking about like a week later. I am speaking about months later where maybe he has planned a trip. He can't wait to take you to meet X, Y, and Z. He sees a future with you because men do not take you around their people, their friends, a wedding, etc., unless they see something with you, right? Number two, he talks about we, not I. He talks about what we are going to do in the future, not I'm going to purchase a house and move to X, Y, and Z. Like I remember I was dating a guy and I didn't pick up on this until after, actually to after we was dating and I was just like, wait a minute, what? So he would always say, I can't wait till I do this or I can't wait till I purchase the house. I can't wait till I move away. It was a, never a we, but the light bulb never went off in my forehead, honey, or my head. It never went off. And then I wonder why that relationship didn't work out because I was not listening to what he was saying. He was already telling me I wasn't in his future. I wasn't listening. Moving on. Number three. He asked for your opinions about the tough matters and or decisions that he has to make. Now, keep in mind, he might not necessarily take your opinion like and do what you say. But at least he's including you in on the tough decisions that need to be made because in the future, he will continue to do those very things. Number four, he lets everyone know about you. You are not a secret. Your, his friends know about you. His parents, his family knows about you. Everybody knows about you, even his coworkers. Like, everybody know about you. Number five. <laughs> he tells the woman that he is off the market and actually means it. He's not secretly getting numbers or secretly on dating sites or secretly doing anything. He's for real. You in his future. You are for him. All right, so that's number five. Number six, he actually brags about you to his family and friends and even his coworkers. You are a topic of discussion, not necessarily every single day, but anytime something comes up, guess what? Man, my girl used to do X, Y, and Z. Or she does X, Y, and Z, I should say. Right? Anytime he can fit you into the conversation, he is absolutely doing that. Now, you might not know that he's doing this, right? Because you're not there. But maybe later on, you know, you meet said coworkers or family or friends, and they're like, oh, I heard all about you. And with a smile on their face, not, I heard all about you. Like, you don't, you don't want that. <laughs> if they give you the side eye, you, he been telling some bad information on you. <laughs> Anywho, number seven. When he needs help, he actually calls you. Now, you might not be the person that can actually help him out, but he wants to let you know what's going on in this particular part right now. Like, he's letting you in on his life, what's actually happened day to day. In this particular moment, this is actually what's going on. I just wanted to let you know. All right, I'll talk to you later. Or can you come help me? You know, it, it, he might be asking for help, but he might not. He might just want to include you on what's going on. Number eight. Number eight is that he wants to know all about you. All about you. He is asking a million freaking questions, and obviously not a million, right? But he's asking lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of questions because he is into you he sees a future with you number nine he is not being secretive about his whereabouts or his phone don't 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 like if he's always taking that phone to the bathroom or anytime it ring it's one of these kind of over to the side because like like whatever side you on <laughs> he doing this so you can't see the screen <laughs> think about it 
just saying he's not secretive about that phone or if you happen to gaze at the phone or it's always in his pot anywhere it's everywhere he is something going on with that phone something going on with that phone i'm just saying you ain't got to say nothing right away but take in information anywho i digress number 10 the most obvious that he sees you in his future he didn't said it to you honey <laughs> And when he say it to you, you have to believe him. Like, it could have been with him just saying, you know what, I see you in my future. Or he could have proposed to you, right? He actually sees you in his future. Believe him when he says it. These are the 10 ways. Of course, there are absolutely more ways to know if a guy see you, sees you in his future. These are just the 10 that I'm giving you today. Take them into consideration. And if you have heard any of these or have been a witness to say, you know what, he actually has done this. He's actually done that. He's actually said this. Da, 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 you're probably on the right path. If you are more than 60% out of these questions, I mean, out of these things, 60% and you and you've been with him with for a significant amount of time at least uh, Over three months. I mean specifically where you guys are um, Girlfriend boyfriend and I know that might sound like a short time for the guys But my point is you want it to be an amount of time where it's not like your first couple dates Where he's saying that you're part of my future because uh, you probably need to run if you're saying it that early like men don't do that Men that are serious about a relationship are taking it slow. Sorry, sorry, I'm bouncing the camera. Men are taking it slow because they're trying to see exactly who you are. And we should take a cue from them to slow it down too. Because if we're talking about getting married and making this a thing, making us a thing, a lifetime thing, then you have a lifetime. So you don't have to move fast. I will see you guys very soon. Two finger salute.